Hi there! Emily Midget here with you today on the Hero Arts YouTube channel, and I'm sharing a super sweet personalized birthday card using some of the latest goodies from Hero Arts. Today's card features the new Banner Letter Set Fancy Dies, which are an adorable way to add an extra special and personal touch to your projects. I've combined these new dies with the new decorated cake stamps and lots of older products, so let's get started with the details. The new banner letter set dies feature all 26 letters of the alphabet, as well as a few little extras like a heart, ampersand, and blank die. The dies also cut the full alphabet, so you can save the pieces and use them for another project. I kept my die set connected and will be saving the extra pieces for a rainy day, but you could also snip them apart with your die trimmers. To start our project, I stamped the decorated cake stamp set on some Copic-friendly white cardstock using intensified black ink. I then colored the images using my Copic markers. To create the shadows for my white cake, I used C3, C1, and a colorless blender Copic marker. I like to use the colorless blender to soften and smooth out the edges of a shadow on a white image. I simply shade the colored markers like normal, then blend out the edges using the colorless blender to achieve a smooth fade into white. The rest of the Copic coloring is fairly self-explanatory. I used a variety of pinks and purples to create a super feminine cake fit for any little girl's birthday party. After I'd finished Copic coloring, I used the coordinating frame cuts for the decorated cake stamp set to die cut the colored images. Next, it was time to move on to the background for the card. I blended some Rose Matter Bold ink with a blender brush around the edges of an A2 panel of peony cardstock, just lightly enough to create a bit of a darker pink halo and add some interest to the card base. I then added an amethyst marquee frame die cut to the blended card panel using some foam adhesive. Once the base was finished, it was time for the assembly to begin for the rest of the card. I began by using precision glue to adhere all of the elements of my unicorn cake together, then used a combination of precision glue and foam adhesive to add it to the card front.
I also added some die cut banners from using the Decorative Edge Fancy Die cut from some azalea and lavender cardstocks. I think the addition of these banners adds a really festive feel to the card front and makes it look like a party. Now it's time to add the banner letter, letter set die cuts. I had die cut the banner pieces from some sparkling white glitter cardstock to spell Letty, my daughter's best friend's name. Off camera, I adhered tiny strips of foam adhesive to the back of the die cuts, then used my detailed tweezers to add them to the card front in just the right spots. Next came the sentiment from Decorate a Cake, which I stamped using intensified black ink, trimmed with my trimmer, and added to the card front using more foam adhesive. Lots of dimension and layers on this card, but that makes it more perfect for a unicorn princess. Well, that's all for my project today. I hope I've inspired you to take a look at these fabulous new banner letter set dies. They really do add so much to a card front, and I love that they can turn any card into a personalized project made just for your recipient. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up, and for more information on the products used, head over to the Hero Arts blog. Thanks so much for watching, and have a marvelous day.